Hey everyone, recently I uh, caught the end of my bar on a tree and bent them. So I had to buy some new handlebars, they're pretty tweaked. Uh, um, Bubba and Brett in a spot that I wasn't super excited about. Bent my bars, now I'm a grumpy old man. Anyways. I purchased the Caleb Kosturski bars made by Cheetah Factory Racing. And I wanted to share with you guys the difference because I was really uh, excited about it. Um, with these bars, you get a much more narrow ride. Uh, these measure out, so I kind of measured them from the bottom here to here, and we're running about 29 inches. On the stock bars over here, and then we're like 29 and a half inches. We got a little closer, which is super handy because we do a lot of tight tree riding. Uh, so a lot of times we'll be side hilling and we'll come to like, there'll be like a tree right here and we'll have to dip it down and try to get our bodies around the, the, uh, that tree. And so these bars seem to make a huge difference. Also, what we did was, is I got the, the five inch riser. Okay, the stock bar riser from the Skidoo actually measures out to be about six and a half inches tall. Um, so that was super handy too, uh, riding those tight trees. I was able to get down, get lower, keep the sled on its side hill and make it through the terrain that I wanted to. Uh, as for riding on the trail itself, the shorter bars, or the, sh the narrower bars, the shorter riser actually made it feel a little more uh, racier-ish, whatever, however that, whatever that means. So it kind of felt like I was more tucked in like a street bike. So it wasn't like I was riding a Harley with this May pingers. It felt like I was riding a street bike, you know, in a uh, crowd track. I felt more tucked in, felt like I had more control. Um, felt, felt better on the trail, actually. One thing I did want to mention is Going with these bars, you may want to get a different brake lever. So I like to run my brake in so that just that so that I have one finger on there. So as a result, we had to move this perch in super close. But if you look, it kind of ended up on like this knuckle here. So as a result, this lever is super close. So if I'm wearing big gloves, um, I can't really get I can't really grip the brake real well. If I have thin gloves on, it's great, it's perfect. But um, if I have thick gloves, not so much. I'm 5'10", so these bars are actually a, a really good height for me because uh, I can stay in a more aggressive stance, and which is super beneficial for jump to, jumping. Um, I don't know if you, if you ever jump a snowmobile, there's a tendency to to uh, have the front end come up on you. Um, if you, especially if you burp it a little bit off the uh, face of the jump, it likes to shoot up. Well, with these, these shorter bars, it's, it's nice because you can get your chest over the snowmobile, hit that back brake and get the front end to come down. Even just coming off the face, especially if it's a steep jump, we do a lot of, our jumps are mostly steep, they're not gradual. Those steep jumps, um, you get yourself right over the snowmobile. I think even for the, the pullovers, hop downs, um, those are nice too because you can really control the sled better. Um, you're staying more with the sled, you're closer to the sled, you're more in tune with the snowmobile, which I think is beneficial. Um, come over to Bubba's setup. Bubba has stock bars still, but he's got the four inch riser and he'll jump on there and show you what uh, it looks like for him. So Bubba, how tall are you? About five, four, five, five. Five, five. And Bubba really likes those because it puts him in a better position for sure. He loves to do wheelies. Um, they haven't affected him at all when doing his wheelies. And he likes it better for side hilling because 
again, I think you want those bars to be by your hips, which kind of gives you more control, especially side hilling. Uh, I'm a little close there, but you can kind of see the bars are closer to his hips. We'll give him more leverage and he can use his legs to uh, con control the snowmobile better. Um, again, he likes the, the shorter bars for jumping as well. Uh, that really helps him. One point I wanted to make as well is that these are oversized bars. These are the inch and eighth bars. Uh, they're supposed to be more stronger. I'm pretty reckless and uh, have a tendency to break things. So I wanted to go with something stronger um, as compared to the stock bars. Um, I have a tendency to, when I'm side hilling, to clip trees. And maybe if I'm hopping over a creek or something, I end up catching the, the end of my bars on a tree and bending them which sucks, but uh, hopefully these hold up better. First ride on them was awesome. Um, in summary, I would say that uh, definitely um, there's nothing wrong with a, a shorter, narrower bar um, as compared to the stock setup. Um, but when I really like it, I was, I wanted to put this video together because I think it was a game changer for me. I was, my eyes were really opened on this whole front. Um, I wanted to share this information with someone else. One other thing is we had done a video on the Ice Age rails and uh, I'd like to say that we've got a couple rides on the Ice Age rails. Bubba says that he hasn't noticed any difference whatsoever. These are supposed to be heavier, sturdier. Um, so far, so good. I haven't had to have had any issues. I uh, highly recommend those as well. If you like this video, if you have any other thing, anything else to share, please comment below, subscribe. Um, you want to see any other reviews or cool, cool videos, just please comment below and we'll throw something up for you. Thanks for watching.